Quebec says it will tax those who remain unvaccinated against COVID-19 without a medical reason. This post received a score of 14,000, with an up-vote ratio of 89%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. In USA we tax the unvaccinated with an $800 ambulance ride, $1,000 emergency room visit, and $10,000 a day hospital admitted fee. As a matter of fact, we charge that to vaccinated folks too. I got charged $250 just for an ambulance to show up. Didn't even get a ride in it. I was charged $15 just to look at an ambulance while it drove down the street. No worries, insurance covered $10. One way to phrase this, is that Canadians pay real insurance premiums. Versus the Americans who pay real money for, insurance, but in reality fraudulent, shakedown artists, until the magic number of 65 years old, should you live so long. Or are lucky enough to live in a state with Medicaid and Medicare. Arizona and John McCain, the only reason this red state has good poor people insurance. How is it better than other states? Thanks. I'd rather a tax credit for getting it. Carrot versus stick, people entrenched are just gonna get more ammo to fuel their persecution complex from this. Fence sitters or lazy PPL or YOLO youth are more likely to do it for a few hundred than to avoid a fine of a few hundred, in my opinion. I saw tons of people get vaxxed in California just to get free daily donuts or free beer. A few bucks goes far. I don't think there's been enough incentives. Alberta was giving out $200 to get double vaxxed. It has very little effect on vaccination rates. Right but now it's not just giving out $200. If you aren't vaccinated, you can't buy liquor or weed. There's a lot of black market weed in Quebec, not so much alcohol. They sell beer and wine at the grocery and the convenience store. I can't remember the last time I actually went to SAQ. Yes, when you consider that for Canadians, taxes effectively include health insurance premiums, it makes complete sense. The instant insurance companies can raise premiums or refuse coverage to unvaccinated individuals they will. Americans will likely be shocked by this though because we tend to take for granted the things our taxes actually pay for. Shit. They'll call it pre-existing condition even if you catch COVID after you're vaccinated and boosted, and then deny every life-saving operation like they would anyways, just now with a new reason code. Fuck insurance companies. Thanks to Obamacare, they can't do that. Double vaxxed here. Though I completely believe in the science involved and find it hard to have compassion with those who have decided against it, I must agree that this is not the proper way to go about dealing with this. I feel as though this will make us more divisive. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.